Get out of here, stalker. And welcome back, everybody, to video number two of this uh, Stalker Anomaly RC22 Beginner's Guide slash playthrough. And uh, we are right where we left off in the introduction video. Uh, in that video, I showed you where all the stashes are and pretty much the basics of the game and how to play it and how to set it up and all that good stuff. Uh, if you haven't seen that video yet and you're interested in knowing all that uh, boring stuff, <laughs> um, please check out the first video in this series. And uh, if not, then uh, stick around because now we're going to do the tutorial. Yes, and this guy's pointing fingers at us. He does not trust us for some reason. Hmm, he's pondering. Let's see, hmm, is this guy a douche or is he actually a cool cheeky? I don't know. We'll find out. But uh, anyway... <laughs> We're back in Rookie Village, and this guy here called Fanatic, he gives the beginner's tutorial quest. So, just go up and speak to him. Hey, I don't think I have seen- Alright, I'm not gonna do the accent. I don't think I've seen you around here before. You seem pretty new too. I'm the deputy leader of this village, along with Wolf. Wolf is the guy standing beside Sid's bunker. If you'd like, I can teach you some things about zone survival. Make sure you don't- make sure you won't die to the first mutant or anomaly you counter. So, we could have started with this, but I wanted to get all the stashes out of the way. <laughs> so, uh, yes, let's start with the help. So, what this guy does, he gives you more ammo and more shotgun ammo. Now you see why I chose the shotgun in the beginning of the first video. So, you can also say, t tell me about yourself, but we don't give a shit about him. Alright, so, this guy here... As you can see, on the right side of the screen, we have his icon. That means he is part of our party. Yes, you can recruit stalkers and have them in a party with you. However, I am going to leave this guy here because um, if he dies, our tutorial mission gets screwed up. And he will most likely die. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave him right here. And you saw that yellow flash, right? That is a command that you can bind to your keys. So in this case, I have it binded to X. So if you go to control, key binds, there's a section where you control your companions. So here we go. Companion wheel, blah, 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 blah. I pretty much have um, binded near my, uh, my left hand. Uh, combat mode and move to point. So what we just did was move to point. So what they'll do is you tell them that you want them to move to a certain point and they'll stay there. If you want them to ignore combat, I have it pressed on alt. I have it uh, well, binded to alt. You have fire at will, ignore combat. Let's leave it at ignore combat. And if you want a, uh, there's a companion wheel, which is uh, pretty much a set of options that you could do. You can even go into his inventory if he's your companion. You can tell him not to loot and all that good stuff. I have that bound to one of my mouse buttons. So the reason why we're going to leave him there is because he wants us to kill a bunch of boars. Now, those boars are a really bad introduction. Excuse me, I'm going to sneeze. Sorry about that. Um... This is kind of like a, a fuck you moment. <laughs> it's like, hey, you want to learn about stalker, eh? You want to learn about stalker survival? Well, here's five boars at you. <laughs> so, there they are. They normally spawn over there. So, what they're going to do is, they're, if the moment they see you is that they're going to come, you know, running at you. And they all charge at the same time. And one or two hits from those boars and you're dead. But there's a sort of a cheese. And I don't care... Call me a cheese or... Oh, crap. Wait, there, whoa. What happened here? All the boars are dead? Okay. As you see, there, there's an anomaly there, right? We just completely zigzag. There's an anomaly there. So what you're going to do is... Oh, my God. We just got so lucky. What you're going to do is you're going to go by this anomaly here. You're going to make the boars go through the anomaly because the anomalies kill mutants as well. As you can see... Alright, so now they said, okay, screw that. We are gonna go back there. Oh, wait a second, he's back here. So what we do is we go on this side of the rail again. 
This is uh, an exploit, an AI exploit, but you can see how many boars are here. There's there, and there's like three or four dead boars over there. And these bastards kill you again with one or two hits. And there's a bunch of them. And they take about two or three shotgun kills, uh, sh two or three shotgun blasts to kill. So, there you go. All the boars are dead. Thank you, Snork Hugger, uh, for showing me that trick. I did not know that trick. I would, I would, I would be, like the first times I would do this quest, I'd have to keep quick saving every single time. Because these boars would just kick the shit out of me. Um, so, that's a neat trick that you can do. Compliments of Snork Hugger. Shout out to him. And uh, you can loot dead animals uh, or mutants, but it has to be with a knife. And big mutants like these need stronger knives. What the hell happened here? Oh, there were zombies. Okay. If you want to loot a zombie, you need to loot them with a knife as well. What was that? I heard that. Hmm. Okay. So there are two types of zombies in this game. These are regular zombies. Which don't have guns. Uh, they just come at you like, you know, normal Romero zombies. And... Nice. We got a rifle repair kit. That's going to come in handy at some point. And then you have... Um, stalker zombies, which are zombified stalkers, which can shoot at you. They have some sort of level of intelligence. Not too much, but they remember how to fire a gun. And they could be a genuine pain in the ass. Okay, so now that we completed that first part of the quest, which is to kill the boars, we go back and talk to Fnatic. And also, as you could see at the bottom left here, the drinking icon has appeared. It means we're thirsty, but we're not going to drink just yet. Phew, that was crazy. What now? Well done. If you see your knife is strong enough to get a few parts out of them, blah, blah, blah. When you're done, let's head to the nearest anomalous zone. Okay. So what you're going to do now, since he's stuck in this position, you can bring up that famous companion wheel, which I have bound to one of my mouse buttons, and say, follow me. So what he does now, he's going to follow you. I still have him as ignore combat. I... When I'm not expected to be in combat, I always have them as ignore combat because they can just detect a mutant somewhere far away and then they'll just go running after them instead of following you. And that gets really annoying. So where we have to go now, if you don't know, well, I know where it is because, you know, I played this game many times already, but you can just check your map and uh, you have a spot on the map that tells you where to go. And if you want to know which quest to go to or select which one you want to do, if you have more quests in here, they will be in your task list. So we're going over to this area. You remember this big anomalous area that I said that we're going to have to go into at some point? Yes, this is it. So... What's going to happen is, we're going to come over here. This will trigger the next part of the quest. We have to talk to him and say, what do we do now? So he's basically saying, hey, there's an anomalous bread in here. And then there's another artifact in there. Go get the jellyfish artifact. So he's going to give us an echo detector. And he's going to give us a lead container to put the artifact in and blah, 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 blah. All right, so... So he says he's going to cover us from here. No, never mind. Okay. Quick thing. You need to equip the artifact detector. I normally equip it uh, where the flashlight is. I think that's the only place you can equip it. So the, the key that I have it bind to is uh, O. And that takes out whichever item you have in here. So what this does is this thing will start beeping faster and faster the closest you the closer you get to an, an artifact 
And artifacts usually spawn in anomalies um, around the zone. So artifacts, what they do is that they can give you some extra stats and traits, and they can also take away uh, stats and traits. And they can they are very uh, irradiated. So that's why he gave us a lead container to put the artifact in. Um, so that's what we're going to do when we find the artifact. So the way that I do this, first of all, let's quick save. The way that I do this is I follow a certain path. And there's a stash in here too, by the way. So what you're going to do is you're going to go start over here. Sort of make your way down this way. And we're getting completely irradiated. There's the anomalous bread. There's a stash right here in this pipe. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around this way. And here's the artifact that he's looking for. We are going to put the artifact into the lead container. And we are going to get the hell out of here because we are getting really irradiated. We're going to drink a vodka because that's going to help us get rid of the radiation. However, we are not completely safe. We are safe from the jellyfish artifact that we put in the lead container, but we still have an irradiated anomalous bread in our inventory, which will give us rads on a consistent basis until we get it out of our inventory or we put that in a lead container as well. So what I normally do is I go to Sid and I sell him the anomalous bread. So we just got rid of our rads. Thanks to the vodka. <laughs> so now that we have the jellyfish artifact in the lead container, now we talk to Fnatic, no, who will make his way back to the to his spot in the rookie village. So we say, hey, we got the artifact. Awesome. So now for the next part of the quest. We have to wait. Well, we, ha we have to bring him back to the starting area to spawn the next part of the quest. It's, it's, trust me, j just follow what I'm doing and all is well. So he gave us a sleeping bag for that, and so he's to he's telling us that we he has a challenge for us. He wants us to find a stash. Now, this stash took me forever to find. Before, this stash used to be up in this tree over here. Remember what I told you in the last video that stashes are extremely hard to find and whatnot? Well... This quest here is supposed to kind of get you introduced to that. <laughs> to that sort of aspect of the game. But lucky for you guys, I know where the stash is. And it's over here. So you find his stash. You grab the artifact. This is a weird artifact. There are a lot of artifacts in this game that don't do anything. Um, that have no effect. They just sell for a decent amount. So we go back to him and we say, thanks for the artifact. Cool. And that's it. There's nothing more I can teach you. That is the tutorial mission. Um, in previous versions of Anomaly, he had us attack the car park. Um, he said, you know, rid the car park of, ban of uh, bandits and blah, 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 blah. But they took that out of the game. I do not know why, but they took it out. So as you can see, all three missions taught you a little bit about the game, right? Anyway, we're going to sell the artifact. We're going to sell the sleeping bag because I don't really use those. Uh, we're going to sell that. Uh, we're going to sell the old ammo. We're going to keep that just in case we find an AK. And mutant parts. Yeah, we could sell that to him. Okay. So... We're gonna keep. We're gonna store all the repair stuff here. We're we're not gonna get there yet. Actually, oh crap. Okay. We're gonna store the jellyfish artifact in here. So let me explain a little something about the artifact while I get DMCA'd from um, from YouTube. <laughs> Thanks, Kino. So some armors have open slots. So there would be these open slots here. 
Now, you can equip artifacts in these slots. Um, however, if they're in a lead container, you cannot equip it. These are just to store artifacts so they don't, you know, hurt you with, uh, with their radiation or anything. But these things here, application modules, there's three different types, um, depending on uh, the permissible radiation level, as you can see there in the properties. This is, I think, the, the lowest tier. Uh, I believe this artifact can go in here. So if you want to equip an artifact, you would have to put in one of these and then this equip it down here if you want to use or obtain the properties of the artifact, which right now is not the case. So, uh, so we're just going to store a bunch of stuff here. And now we're going to start the main quest line. This dude gives it to you. So, I heard you promising adventure, fame, and cash. Can you help me find the wish granter? Sure, it's easy. It's up in Chernobyl. The next bus leaves in the next 20 minutes. Ha 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 ha. Sid. Listen, stalker. Many people before you have come here looking to find the wish granter. You know what they all have in common today. They're all worm food. Except maybe Strelok. In any case, the wish granter is just a legend, a myth, but the money I offer is real. Work hard, play smart, and you'll be rich in no time. Alright, so how do I get rich? Uh, here, give me your PDA, blah blah blah. Okay, meet with Xenotech. Alright, so this is not the main mission. This is the main mission. This is this is the one that kicks off the, legend, the living legend quest. Uh, you see back in uh, 2012, Barkeep, uh, if you want to read all this. Uh, a stalker called the Marked One, or rather Strelok, helped us a lot. He disabled the Brain Scorcher. So this here, for those of you who haven't played Shadow of Chernobyl, this is kind of a spoiler. <laughs> so, but anyway. Uh, that's not important right now. <laughs> I mean, if you haven't played the original games, I always suggest to play them, but... This is a this is much better graphics as I stated earlier, much better graphics, and um, and I don't know, I just find it a lot more fun. Anyway, the thing is, he never returned from this Chernobyl nuclear power plant. We thought he got swallowed up by a spatial anomaly, kidnapped or whatever, uh, but apparently Strelok's back in the zone. So he basically wants us to find Strelok. Uh, okay, so that <clears throat> that triggered the Living Legend quest. Aside from the main quest, you can also do some other quests for him. Uh, one stalker was supposed to bring me supplies, wild territory. I do not recommend going to the wild territory right now. So, if you don't like a quest, you just go have anything else. Bandit faction patches? Okay. That means that we have to kill 10, bandage, uh, 10 bandages, 10 bandits, and take their patches and bring them back to Sidorovich. Any more work you want done? Uh, contract Killer Dark Valley, and yeah, we're not going to go there just yet. Okay. So, there is like a side mission as well, like a big side mission alongside the main quest lines, which is this one. I haven't done those yet. So, I don't think I've completed any of these, but we're going to focus on the main quest. Obviously, um... The main quest, you need to be somewhat geared <laughs> in order to complete the main quest line. So, I recommend doing small uh, side quests to get more gear, to get more better armor, and all that good stuff. So, there are people around Rookie Village that give you side quests. Wolf here is one of them. So, any work you want done, eliminate mutant threat from the cordon. Let's do it. He wants you to kill mutants. Fine. Any more work? Rescue the courier in the garbage by the Rostock checkpoint. Uh, do you have anything else? No, I don't want to go there just yet. Okay, let's see if he has anything. Nope, it hasn't recycled yet. Hmm. That's strange. I thought I had NPCs give, um... Hmm. Okay. Oh well. Well, that's strange. He normally gives us a, a an escort mission to uh, to kill mutants. That's strange.
Normally there's some people around here that will give you any, um... This guy wants five compression bags. I normally don't do those because those are kind of, you know, they're boring quests and they normally just ask for random things and it's like, eh, whatever. Like, tell me to kill somebody and I'll do it. Okay. Person's not, uh, giving us any quests. This is hip, uh, the... Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Stalker, people. Uh, she is the only female in the zone. And, uh, she gives you, uh, a quest to find her a, a pimped out Taz. But we're not gonna do that. This guy doesn't give us any quests either. This guy who's dressed like a freaking bandit. Let's see. He wants us to go into the dark, darkscape. Nope, I don't want to do that. Wow, these initial quests suck. You are dressed like... Okay, this dude's an ecologist. But you're dressed like a freaking merc. Okay. Wow, nobody here has quests for us. Do you have a quest? No. Okay. So we have eliminate the mutant threat from the cordon. Okay, so we have a mutant threat over here. It's nearby at least. So that's what we're gonna do. I mean, if we get bored, we can always clear out the uh, the military camp. All right, let's drink something because we're becoming a little dizzy. Okay, the mutant that they have us kill is a flesh. So these quests are normally pretty easy. The problem is that that the fleshes they run away from you. So sometimes it can be harder to kill. There you go. And these ones we can we can loot. So this is like half pig, half something. Okay, uh, we can loot that. Some good stuff. Oh, and if you did see the um, sort of like the radiation uh, symbol at right next to my health bar, that is because I, w I drank water. Now water. Uh, takes away radiation, apparently, in the zone, so. <laughs> yeah, drinking and, um, yeah, drinking mostly, uh, takes away, ra uh, radiation. Radiation effects. So the reason why, I explained it a little bit before, there we go, so we go, job is done, he gives us some money, cool. Anything else you want us to do? No, he's still doing that? Okay. You know what? Why don't we do it? Garbage isn't too bad. For starters. Let's see if uh, Sid's quests have refreshed. I don't think they have, but just in case. We'll go down. And ask him. Lemansk? Yeah, no. <laughs> They have refreshed, but it's not good. Okay, so we're gonna go to the garbage. If we're gonna do that, we're gonna bring this so we can sell a bunch of stuff. Get some money. It's all about the money in this game. The, if you have a shit ton of money and you're rich as F, then, um, <laughs> then you'll be good. So, what is the plan? So, the reason why I said that we should do some side quests before taking on the main quest is because the next objective in the main quest, or I would say the first objective, is to find the doctor. Now the doctor is in the Great Swamps, which is the map right next to us uh, to the west. This map is a bitch because you can't see anything. It's all full of glades and, and stuff. Like, it's a, your genuine swamp. This shit looks like the Everglades in Florida. Um... You can't see anything. There's a crap ton of mutants there that just pop out of nowhere and get you. There's a bunch of bandits and renegades in certain areas. There is military up here. And there's just a lot of randomness in this map. So if you're not prepared, if you don't have decent weapon or decent armor or whatnot. Uh, I mean, you could go here, beginners. I go here as a beginner, but I'm going to try and... Just for you guys' sake, I'm going to try and go there with at least, I don't know, with at least something. <laughs> maybe not better armor, but maybe like an AK or something like that. But, um, 
And he's all the way out here, which means that we have to go through irradiated areas and blah, blah, blah. So that's why I want to do. I want to get some um, quests done. There's no leveling per se in Stalker Anomaly, but, um, you know, the more quests you do, the more items you have, the more money you have, which means the better equipment you can get. Alright, so we are going to the garbage to rescue a poor bastard. This is the garbage right here. It's directly north. So what we're going to do is we're going to go the same route. We're going to check to see if there's anybody at the bridge here. Or maybe we can get some action here at the car park. Why don't we do that? I don't want to go through two, um, two videos and not shoot anything. So... Uh, this is where the dude is, so we're gonna have to rescue him up here. I wonder why he's there. Normally, duty's around here, and they're friendly with the uh, stalkers, so... I don't know. It's a weird rescue mission, but okay. So we're gonna go check out the car park, see if we can pick a fight with any bandits that are around there. And then we're gonna go through the bridge, we're gonna sell a bunch of stuff here at the farm. And then we're gonna go to the garbage. As you can see, I was about to run into an anomaly there. Equip our weapon. Let's go under the... Well, let's not go under the bridge because that looks like it's a hell of a time. There's something here. Let's do that. Alrighty. I love the music in this game can't really hear it, I have it on low, but the ambience uh, music is uh, very good. They did a great job with it. Not the modders, but um, this is uh, original music from the vanilla games. Alright, the reason why I'm crouching is because I don't know if there are bandits there. Let's quick save first.